being on stage is as comfortable to me as being in my room by myself. When I'm on stage and I have the entire audience in front of me, I am so much at ease. It's just the place I think I was born to be. It's just me, myself, and my voice. <laughs> What comes to my mind about my childhood is my mother cooking and washing and ironing, but all that while singing. It was in me, I don't know. Singing was a part of my life, part of living. And the songs would be these fathers of Portuguese style. When you talk about fado music, which is a, a semi-classical Portuguese style of music, it was one of my mother's favorite forms of music. So through my childhood, I heard her singing fados. But in my little tiny town of Ponda, very temple oriented, there was hardly anybody that spoke Portuguese and there was absolutely nobody else other than my mother who sang the father. So that was a genre that I heard, but I never took interest in because uh, for me it was something that not many people knew and, and something of the times gone by and not interesting. Fundação Orientes Foundation brought a Portuguese guitarist, uh, Antonio Chain, who is like the ustad of, of the Portuguese guitar. So he had come down to Goa to teach musicians to learn and play that instrument. At the end of that workshop that he did with the musicians, they wanted to have a small concert. Um, so this director, Dr. Serge Mascarenhas, said, you have to sing a fado. And I was like, no, 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 I don't sing fado, that's not my music. Nothing doing. This so-and-so has come and he needs a singer, you have to learn a fado. And at that point of time, mind you, I didn't speak Portuguese. At the end of that concert, the Ustad, Mestre Anton Shein, he called me aside and told me, my dear girl, you have a voice for the father. That is when, or rather for the first time, somebody told me what my voice was for. So when this happened, it sort of opened doors and, and then I plunged totally into the father. When I try to analyze what fadu is for me, it gets very difficult to put it into words because it is not just a genre, it sort of is something that that plays the strings of my heart. É por amor que nos damos a quem não gosta de nós. É por amor que nos damos a quem não gosta de nós. É por amor que cantamos até já não termos voz. É por amor que cantamos até já não termos voz. Sonia Sissat is definitely the greatest, uh, you know, representative of Fado from Goa and one of the very, very good uh, Fado singers in the world. É por amor que se aposta toda a vida num segundo É por amor que se aposta toda a vida num segundo Porque quando a gente gosta muda tudo até o mundo Porque quando a gente gosta muda tudo até o mundo I thought she would be a singer like so many singers we have here around But she deserves She really sings well It gives me a big pride Que a vida é do mar Nem 
Desde que me pertenço Nem o mal se me dá There is a fado called Ruth Capelão and the this fado ends saying that I would love to live holding on to the fado and I would love to die holding on to you. She sings it to her lover. So I would say I would love to live holding on to the fado and I would love to die also holding on to the fado. <laughs> If you want to watch more such awesome content, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. There's lots of more cool stuff coming up on 101india.com, our website. Stay tuned.